Hello folks and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today it's going to be a basic tutorial looking at how to create a minimap for your games. Now you might want these for an adventure game, an RPG, first person shooter even, but they're very very useful sometimes and obviously can highlight lots of things on the map. So we're going to start doing it, it's very very straightforward, there's not even a single piece of code to type either which is really really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to our rotate object. If you remember a few weeks ago we did a, a rotating coin uh, tutorial. Well I'm going to add to that today just to make it easier really and we can always extend that later on by perhaps doing a tutorial where I'll show you how to collect the coin and add a score. But today we're going to concentrate on the minimap. I've added a couple of extra things to the map as well. So I've added these blocks here which do nothing but when you've got a minimap you'll be able to see them on there. I've added another coin and I've created a red whoops I've made my character red as well because hey why not let's just see him move around you see the first person character controller that we created so he moves around rather well okay so let's get on with the tutorial I'm gonna first of all in the assets in the in the assets folder down here I'm gonna create a folder called minimap and you don't have to do this at all, it's just purely for the ease of use for this tutorial. And what I need to do first is create a render texture. Now this is the texture that the map is going to be imprinted onto. It's almost like a canvas if you like. So we're going to create that, we're going to go down, on right click on the folder, create, and we're going to select render texture, simple as that. And we'll call it, we'll call it minimap actually, minimap feed sounds good I don't know okay and there it is a black blob and that's all we need to do with that the render texture is very straightforward next thing we're going to do is go to the player itself and on the player we're going to create a second camera so we're going to right click on the player itself go down here and you've got camera okay and we're going to call this camera so if you highlight it and press F2 to highlight the actual text and we're just going to call it minimap cam, minimap cam, minimap camera. Okay. Now this camera, if you look where it is at the moment, it's right here, exactly where the first person camera is. And we don't really want that, to be honest. We want it pointing down at the um, player itself. So we're going to drag it up here. Might even need to go a little bit higher. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. On the X axis, and I think we do need to go up a little bit more, perhaps even more. Let me go up a little, and there we go. So that is what the mini map will see. Okay. Now we can create, we can change the clipping planes on this as well. We don't need to see a thousand into the distance. We only really need to see. If you see, we can change it to a hundred if we want to. It's not going to be that far at all. We might even be able to change it to fifty. Yeah, there we go. We don't, want to we don't want to render anything on this camera that's really far in the distance, otherwise that's going to slow down your processing. We don't necessarily need any post-processing on it. We can render the shadows. We can turn the shadows off if you want, it's entirely up to you. So with that in place, we now need to take the render texture that we created, the minimap one down here, the black one. Let's go back to minimap camera. And over here you have output texture, which says there, none render texture in brackets. So we just drag this render texture over to the output and there it goes into the feed like that. Okay. Now, if we press play, you'll notice absolutely nothing changes. But if you look over there on the actual scene window, on that bit there, you can see the camera moving around and following the player, like so. But what we need to do is we actually need to show that on the screen for the player to see. So we're going to create some UI. So over here on the hierarchy, we're going to right click and we're going to go down to UI and we're going to create a raw image like so. That is huge. We don't want it that big. So if we now go to 2D, we'll see exactly where the raw image is. And it's down there at the moment. So if we click on raw image, I want it on the bottom right hand side. I don't know why, I just think it looks better. So if we just go all the way across there, obviously we need to make it a little bit bigger. Let's try 500 
by 500. Is that a good size for a mini map, do you reckon? We don't want to take it too much of the screen up, but we'll make it a little bit bigger for the purpose of this tutorial, just so you can see it. Let's change it 800 by 800. That is a whopping mini map camera there. Okay, we're going to change the color of this one to black, make it a little bit transparent, that's so, and then we're going to tr anchor it by clicking this little anchor preset here, and we're going to anchor it down to the right hand side of the screen, like that, okay. Now what we're going to do, in this raw image, we're going to create another raw image, so we're going to right click on that raw image, UI, raw image, okay. Now that one's 800 by 800. We're going to make this one 700 by 700. There we go. Okay. And we're going to call this, we're going to click on it and press F2. We're going to change that to minimap. And we can change this raw image by clicking on it and pressing F2. And we'll call it mini map frame. Okay. Now, all we need to do now click on the minimap itself and in this texture bit we are going to drag again this minimap render texture into there like that and now we'll click on maximize on play let's have a look and if we press the play button there is a massive minimap and if we move along moving along the map you can see it changes and I've got these in here as well so you can just see the buildings if you like if they were buildings they're actually just blocks in this now that really is a massive minimap we wouldn't have it that big in a game but I just wanted to make it that big for the purpose of this tutorial really so you can see what it does and it really is good if you're using a first person character controller where there is no image of the player I'll show you what you can do with that and it really is straightforward let's just go back to uh, 3d and we'll select on the player and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off his mesh renderer so he's invisible Now, when we press play now on the actual minimap you won't see him at all you just see see the bottom right there's no red dot for where the player is and to sort that out it's really really straightforward all you go to is click on your minimap itself and you're going to right click on the minimap again and you can create yet another raw image Okay, and this raw image is going to be pretty big. We don't want it that big. Let's just scroll out a little bit here. See what it looks like. We're going to change it to, let's say, 20 by 20. Again, let's make it a bit bigger for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, we can change the color of it as well. Let's change it to red. Keep it like that. And now when you press play, you will hopefully see a much better there you go so there is the dot if you like for your player and obviously that is really crude dot it's just a red square you can put it to whatever you want you can have a little triangle which points in the direction that you're facing you can have a circle you can do whatever you want but that's how you would get around it for a first person character controller uh, where you don't actually see the player itself or all you see is the hands and i'm pretty sure on your minimap you don't want to see any floating hands bobbling along so there we go. That is how to create a minimap in Unity without any code whatsoever. And it's really, really straightforward. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to carry on adding to these tutorials. We've got the rotating object now. We've got the minimap. Perhaps in the next episode, we'll do something a bit more exciting, like how to collect the coins and add them to a score. If you like that idea, let me know in the comments. Or if you've got any suggestions yourself, please let me know in the comments. These tutorials are for you. And if you want to learn something, please let me know what you'd like to learn. And I will try and cater for you where possible, of course. But in the meantime, if you have enjoyed that today, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Smash that like button because it does help our channel grow. And don't forget, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. But in the meantime, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye for now.